love the writing of Paul in the scriptures. He often uses the word confident or confidence. He writes in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, being confident of this very thing. Now you've got to pause for a moment. The word confident is assurance. The word confident is a bedrock we can stand on. One of my earliest Sunday school lessons that I remember, in fact, I think it was the first lesson I remember, was to build your house upon a rock. The word confident and confidence is the knowledge that this is a sure thing. Let's have a read. Being confident of this very thing that he who began a good work in you, no matter what is going on in your mind, no matter what is going on in your world, we can be confident of this, that he who began the good work, now we're talking about Jesus, he who began the good work in you will complete it. You know, God always finishes what he starts. I often say to our church, I am a work in progress. God is working on me and God is working on you. He will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Praise God, what a day that will be. What is real and what is not real? That's facing us every day. Do I believe the news tonight? I don't know. What I do know is the Bible is full of assurance. Pilate asked this question of Jesus. What is truth? Well, he was standing right in front of truth as he was asking that question. Paul also writes in Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. I want you to receive this. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, if any affection and mercy fulfill my joy by being like-minded. It was really saying, be the church, be Christian. He who began a good work in you will complete it. What is truth? Jesus still is the rock. I encourage you, Christian, do not be overcome by evil. Do not be overcome by the world. Do not look at the six o'clock news and be overwhelmed. Look at the truth. Focus your attention on him. Do you remember that beautiful song we used to sing? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. God bless you.